Good morning, this is Kathy Sipple and I'm coming to you today on behalf of CoThrive.org. It is June 15th, 2015 and today I want to tell you a little something about a new tool that I've learned about called the Pomodoro Technique and how CoThrive is going to be rolling out uh, a new way of working together and we're going to do it in 25 minute focus sessions and for a reason I'm going to get to shortly, they're called Pomodoros. And what I think that's going to do for members is bring them just better results and make their marketing more effective. So how are we going to do that or why? Well, first, I think we just have to talk about the elephant in the living room. And the elephant in the living room, if, if you don't know that idiom, means just kind of a big problem that's so big it's hard to ignore, yet nobody talks about it. And what I think is that for us solopreneurs, and I count myself among you, um, even when we know what to do, we know what we should be doing to make our business go better, social media is just this big, big thing, and it's not limited to business, obviously. You hop onto Facebook, and there's a lot of other distractions there. There are a lot of other things that you can find yourself doing besides being highly focused with your marketing. So it's really you know, easy to get distracted and start talking to a friend or family member or get sucked into playing a game, whatever. Um, and when you're already wearing a lot of different hats as a solopreneur, it can just be kind of challenging. And I say that not just for, for you, know, you, the members, but, but also for me. I know what to do. I have been uh, certified through HubSpot Academy as an inbound marketer. And I put a link here too. This is free training that anybody can take. It's uh, available to you using the link below. Uh, just go to bit.ly CoThrive Hub. That's a special link. They'll know that I sent you. We'll take good care of you. But anyway, even if you don't want to be a marketer for somebody else, you just want to learn how to do what you're supposed to do, uh, the training through HubSpot Academy takes you through something called the buyer's journey. And it tells you, you know, what you need to do to anticipate what your buyer is going to need at each stage of the game. Whether they're just becoming aware of you, they're discerning, you know, who they want to go to to make a purchasing decision, or they want to perhaps uh, try you out. So anyway, I thought that was really valuable training. It's, it's great information to have, but it still doesn't get the job done. Uh, later in my career, I was lucky enough to team up with another local marketing consultant. I'm going to give a shout out here to Dean Delisle. I worked with him for a number of years at his company, Forward Progress, based in Chicago. And Dean developed this tool that I thought was really pretty cool called Social Jack. And in fact, he's even launched a whole site kind of dedicated to this type of, um, this kind of work. I believe it's called socialjack.com if you want to check that out. Uh, anyway, what he did was he developed a, an Excel spreadsheet and just broke it down into day by day, week by week, what are the little incremental things that you can do to kind of bring you toward a goal, bring you toward, you know, appointments and ultimately to track your metrics to see how many of your appointments that you've set are getting closed. And, you know, quite honestly, I don't see too many social media marketers doing anything like this. They're not keeping score. They just kind of feel like if they're out there and they do things, something will happen. And to be real honest with you, I count myself among those. I know that I do better when I've got a goal in mind. Um, it's easy to get off track. It really is. And so even though I knew about this tool, I have this tool at my disposal, you know, thought it was great, show it to clients, I'm still not doing it. So what's, you know, what gives? If I know what to do and I even know how to do it, why am I not getting it done? I'm thinking it might be the same reason that members have trouble getting it done. It's kind of making time to do it and being highly focused while you're in that time, in that space. So, for instance, you know, if I have a vague idea that, hey, I'm going to hop onto Facebook and do a post for today. Well, again, all those distractions could come up. I could get uh, waylaid and get, you know, sidetracked doing something else. With this Pomodoro technique, this was a uh, system that was devised back, I believe, in the 70s, 80s by a gentleman who was uh, a time efficiency expert. And he just happened to have a little tomato shaped timer, kitchen timer. And he would set it for 25 minutes. I, I don't recall if maybe that's just 
what the time was was set for, but he found that he was really, really able to get a lot done when he set that timer very intentionally for 25 minutes and just cranked on one specific thing for that time and then took a five minute break. I mean, they actually say that the breaks are just as important as the focus 25 minute sessions. You've got to kind of take a time out, reward yourself, cleanse the palate, get a game plan, you know, for your next 25 minute chunk. So I have done co-working with other coaches in the past and I have found this to be very, very helpful when we share our goals, we work on it, and then we share our accomplishments at the end. And so just kind of bookending intention, goal, focused time, you know, work time on it, and then sharing with somebody who cares, you know, did you do the task that you said you were going to do was a really winning combination. So all of these things have been floating around in my head, and uh, it kind of led me to write this blog post, which if you'd like, you can take a look at on the CoThrive blog. It's available at cothrive.org forward slash elephant. I actually wrote it in response to um, another marketing expert who is in my marketing mastermind group who found uh, an article by HubSpot called Insanely Honest Things You Can Do in Your Marketing, something like that. I think it was seven insanely honest things you can do in your marketing. And I just felt compelled to write this post to talk about the elephant in the living room. I'm a marketing expert and I'm not doing marketing perfectly. How can I expect my members to do it perfectly if, if I don't feel they've got the, uh, the support that I know I need? So anyway, if you want to read the long version, you can go there and check that out. Tried to have a little bit of fun with combining those two ideas. The elephant in the living room seems like a very big job. How do you tackle that? One, one pomodoro or one tomato at a time. Pomodoro, by the way, I don't think I mentioned, is Italian for tomato. So that's why it's called the Pomodoro Technique. So if this sounds interesting, if you've been looking for ways to just kind of dig into your social media, get something done, and try a new fresh approach, well, I think it's time to get together. I think it's better together when we put the social back in social media. We meet uh, weekly for virtual office hours, so you don't have to be located in any particular geographic area. You can join us from wherever you are as long as you've got an internet connection. Members always attend for free. And uh, if you're not already a member, I'd like you to try out try us out for 30 days. You can go to cothrive.org forward slash free. And what membership gets you right now? We're going to be adding benefits all the time, but it gets you six hours of live interactive training per week. We had for some time just been doing kind of open office hours. Members could bring any, any type of question at all. And this week we're mixing it up a little bit. We're going to do five 25 minute segments called Pomodoros. And we're going to try this approach. You can go to the member calendar and see what each day's uh, focus will be. If you want to focus on something else during that 25 minutes, you're, you're really welcome to join us too. Just know that, you know, I'm going to actually be working along with you. There will be very little uh, talking during the 25-minute work session, but we want to celebrate one another's success and hold each other accountable. So anyway, I think this is a way that we can actually eat that elephant in the living room one tasty Pomodoro at a time. So members, I hope you'll join me this week. If you're not a member, I hope you'll give it a try and check us out. Hope to see you there.